Welcome back, Mogverse. Today we're taking a close, no-nonsense look at the heavy equipment transporter system, the HETS that hauls America's biggest machines. If you've ever wondered what moves an M1 Abrams from A to B, or how the U.S. Army shifts armored brigades across long distances, this is the truck-trailer combo that does the heavy lifting. I'll walk you through what the HETS actually is, how it performs on the road and off, what it can carry, and what it costs, with realistic price ranges for both government procurement and the civilian used market in 2025. Let's get into it. The HETS is not a single vehicle but a system, a powerful tractor unit commonly the Oshkosh M1070 family, including A0 and A1 variants and region-specific derivatives like the M1300 mated to the M1000 family of five-axle heavy semi-trailers. Together they're designed specifically to carry main battle tanks, armored recovery vehicles, bulldozers and other equipment that would otherwise eat away tracked vehicle life if driven long distances. The M1070 tractor has been in U.S. service since the 1990s and was modernized to the M1070A1 with a much stronger power plant and upgraded driveline to meet modern weight and mobility demands. On performance, the modern M1070A1 uses a high-displacement diesel, the Caterpillar C18 in the A1 conversion, producing roughly 700 horsepower, a substantial jump over the original 500 horsepower Detroit diesel, paired to an uprated automatic transmission and heavy-duty transfer case. That additional power and torque matter when you're hauling 60 to 80 plus tons on mixed terrain or climbing steep grades, the A1 conversion improves acceleration, grade holding and cooling for sustained heavy-duty missions. The tractor's steering and suspension layout, steerable axles and sophisticated air, hydraulic suspension on the trailer, make long loads more controllable and reduce wear on the payload. Capacity and towing, the standard M1000 trailer is quoted with a U.S. Army payload around 63,560 kilograms, about 70 U.S. tons, while manufacturer quoted reduced speed capacities can be higher, manufacturers sometimes list up to approximately 80,000 kilograms at restricted speeds. The trailer uses multiple axle lines with hydraulic pendular suspension to spread loads and negotiate uneven ground. The tractor and trailer together have been engineered to transport M1 Abrams series tanks and similar heavy vehicles without damaging tracks or drivetrains. If your concern is, how much can it haul, think in the 60 to 80 ton payload bracket depending on configuration and speed restrictions. Mobility and range, loaded HETS convoys travel at moderate road speeds, typical GCWR speeds are in the 72 to 81 km per hour range under regulated conditions, but realistic cross-country or tactical movement speeds will be much lower. Fuel capacity on the tractor is large, nearly 950 liters split tanks on many variants, allowing long transits between refueling when road conditions permit. Expect real-world range figures to vary widely with load and terrain, but long-haul movements measured in hundreds of kilometers are routine. The added mass of the payload and trailer means acceleration is slow and brake systems are heavily engineered, the HETS is built for controlled, steady movement rather than sprint-style maneuvering. Field usability and crew ergonomics. The tractor's cab is configured for two operators and can be fitted with modular armor kits, a B kit approach, to protect crews in higher threat environments. Winches integrated into the tractor and gooseneck assist loading and self-recovery tasks, a practical benefit on soft ground or in constrained loading scenarios. Maintenance-wise, the HETS is a heavy logistic piece, cooling, driveline, winches and hydraulic suspension all require. Experienced support crews, but the design aims to minimize damage to the payload and reduce wear on tracked vehicles by avoiding long-distance self-movement. Reliability and sustainment. The M1070 M1000 combination has been in service for decades and benefits from a mature supply chain and field doctrine. Oshkosh and associated suppliers have offered upgrades and sustainment packages, including the A1 upgrades and Europe-compliant M1300 variants, and governments typically buy through long-term sustainment contracts rather than one-off purchases. That institutional support translates into predictable availability and clear maintenance pathways, which is crucial for militaries but also affects resale markets when surplus units enter civilian hands. Prices, what you'll actually pay in 2025, here's the practical part. New, government-contracted HETS tractors and new trailers are procured through defense contracts and their per-unit, price,